So I got really excited about electronics at an early age. Um, I'm Greek Cypriot, so I come from a very traditional Greek Cypriot family background. You know, my father ran taverners, uh, my mother used to sit at home a lot and watch various soaps. So as, as a kid, I was sort of inspired by fixing things. If a fuse would blow on my mother's television set, I would be the first to see if I could fix it. I mean, one of the things that was very important for me was the fact that I didn't have a formal education. You know, I went to a school that didn't do O-levels, didn't do A-levels. Um, so I managed to get into a technical college and I did a diploma in engineering, one of those sort of city and guilds type of certificate. And I suppose it was my want of creativity because I didn't have the theoretical depth that really inspired me to be creative. And, and, and then that then took me forward. It got me into Imperial College eventually, and now I became a professor and I run this institute here. I think one of my biggest achievements has been the formation of this Institute of Biomedical Engineering here at Imperial College. Um, it was the ability to get different disciplines to work together, electrical engineers with physicists, with biochemists, with clinicians, with aeronautical engineers even. And if you could get these people to work together and break those silos, you can create fascinating cakes. And that's where all the intellectual property is. And through that venture, I was able to create cochlear prosthetics for born deaf children. We created one of the world's first totally implantable uh, pancreas chips for type 1 diabetics. And now we create a chip that enables us to look at DNA in real time. I think he's an absolutely natural candidate. In fact, one of the things I was going to point out is that he should have had several Faraday medals, not just one. So it wasn't a difficult choice to suggest him. He's decided that he would like the world at large to benefit from the work that he's done. And the way to do that is to become an entrepreneurial person. And of course, he's been extremely successful in that regard too. Chris is a excellent example of somebody who takes his research and drives it through all the way to external impact. I think we can see that in the companies he's founded, in uh, the degree to which he's taken a whole series of technologies and taken them further than just the research laboratory but brought them into industry and brought them into real practice, uh, for example, in the medical world. And I think one of the reasons that he's been recognized by the Institute is because of this excellent track record of not only research innovation, but driving the impact of research. I, I've been in awe of Faraday Medal winners. This is such a prestigious, prestigious award from the IET. So when I found out that I'd achieved it, I was just ecstatic, um, particularly because it's for the DNA technology that we've developed. And it's not just about technology, but it's an award for the good of mankind and that's what's really special about it. So Faraday, thank you very much if you're watching. <laughs>